What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative. And today, people, I received an email from... It's basically just a notification from Bandai Nemco. And they're doing a week of screaming starting from January 16th to the 20th. And they will be going over the game's Tales of Berseria, My Morphin Power Rangers, Naruto Storm 4, Road to Boruto, and Digimon World. So, as we all know, the most important thing that we're looking forward to is the information on Road to Boruto. That will be on Thursday, January the 19th at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Now, for people on the East Coast, this time should be 7 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. I will be... I will be still at work, so I won't be able to attend it, but I'll watch back the live stream on Twitch. Told a couple of people this in the live stream that I did yesterday, that on Steam, we, people that have already pre-ordered, you know, Road to Boruto DLC on Steam, they will be able to access it, you know, one day early from the release date that they gave y'all, according to Steam. Now, I haven't seen when I haven't seen the time when Steam is wrong. I mean, I see the information right here. Available February 2nd. Three weeks from now, the game will be unlocked for us on PC. I will now leave you all to last year's New York Comic Con when um, the representative, Nick O'Leary, talked about Road to Boruto. Thank you guys for watching. Operatives, move out. Yes. Road to Boruto. A lot of people excited about this. Uh, Definitely. Not only additional content, but of course the future of uh, this franchise and everything that's kind of happening. So talk to us a little bit about this. Yeah, so uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 kind of tied up the uh, Naruto Shippuden storyline mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, the game. Uh, brought it all the way to the end of the anime, uh, the conclusion of the anime. So what uh, the Road to Boruto DLC does is kind of bridge the gap between uh, Naruto Shippuden and the future of the Naruto world with um, storyline content from the Boruto, Naruto the movie, which uh, Boruto, if anyone doesn't know, is Naruto's son. Yep. Uh, so he's kind of taking on the next generation of these ninja characters. Oh, epic battles that definitely, are taking place. Definitely. In the and that is uh, kind of the design philosophy behind uh, the developer CyberConnect 2 with these games is it's hero wish fulfillment, so we want uh, the, the people playing the game to be Naruto, be Sasuke, be all these characters that they love seeing, and part of that is Naruto doesn't miss Rasengan's too much, so yeah. you're gonna hit those, <laughs> hit those when you want to. Um, uh, is there is there anything like mechanic-wise that is changing, or am I like, is there anything I might find new in the the Road to Boruto based yeah. off of the characters, or? So they are uh, the development team is taking some of the. Uh, fan feedback from the original Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 release into account, so they are making some uh, adjustments to the overall uh, battle design. Okay. It's not, it's, mechanically, it'll be pretty much the same, but there might be little tweaks here and there. Um, there's also a brand new full adventure mode to play through uh, with the same uh, big boss battles, uh, the quick time events, which we'll see here if... Uh, Perfect, excellent, thank you. Um, and there are some new characters as well. Um, we announced, you know, we have Burudo and Serata playable uh, in the new DLC. And uh, there's, I assume there'll be some other surprises. As and well. there'll be some more, yeah, a few others as well. I mean, what's been the general fan reception, right? Like, we've had this interesting journey with Naruto mm -hmm. where, you know, we started out with uh, with them as kids and mm -hmm. then ship it in, sort of advance the storyline, and there was a lot of maturity amongst all the characters. And, of course, right. uh, the next chapters, if you will, kind of like mm -hmm. it's it's time for a new generation with the old yes. generation still mixed in. Yep. Uh, I, I assume that fan reception has is, is been great, and people have been wanting this to be translated to the game. Definitely, yeah. It's fun to see, you know, the new characters, but also to see the returning characters in the third stage of their life as right. adults rather than teenagers or uh, young adults and see what they are now with Naruto as you know, Hokage and uh, him being married and uh, Sasuke and Sakura being married with Sarada and have their kids and kind of what goes on with them and also seeing them deal with adulthood things. So right. Naruto and Burudo having a relationship and it's really cool to see that progression.
That's right. It's back with this new game. I mean, you mentioned the story. You mentioned mm -hmm. the new adventure. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you guys have talked about up to this point? Again, so far, what we've uh, said, made public, is that you have a new adventure mode. Uh, you'll have the, the boss battles like you had before. New characters for free play for both offline and online mode. Um, and it'll be a very pretty substantial chunk of content. So it'll take a few, more than a few hours to get through. Right. Yeah, right. so Great. you guys have a lot to look forward to.